Good morning, everyone. It's Rafe Gal. We're playing Grime. And today, we're climbing up into the top part of this world pillar, and I don't know what I'm expecting. This looks like a boss fight, though. Boss fight cutscene somewhere along that line. Either way, we're. This is probably going to be, if not the end, very close to the end of the game. Oh. Welcome again, Aklan. I truly doubt you find this ploy of mine surprising. You can only assume we were playing along. Or I can only assume you were playing along. Perhaps it is as the Coda believe. You enjoy the struggle, the challenge. You were arming me for this fight to sweeten the feast. Or... Perhaps there is another part of you that wants an alternative. The side with a form and the parent's breath in its chest. The materials you brought were used to construct this device. With it, you are granted the opportunity to choose. You could choose to give up, let go, let us go. The end will come for us eventually. It does not have to be now. It does not have to be at your hand. So be it. I may not be able to destroy you, but I will fight for every moment this world is allowed to exist. Okay. Getting real. Uh, I don't know if this is the last boss, but I feel like it could be. <laughs> okay, just for the sake of it, we're going to do one of these as we head in this time. Yeah, I'm you. Okay, I'm used to the having a moment where you can react after the yellow attacks, and I think that's my my shortcoming there. Like when you use the pole.
that was red. I didn't think it was going to be red. <laughs> Oh, I did not notice how low my health was. <laughs> the one weird thing about spending time in the air for this fight is that there isn't as good of a time as there had been to heal, which feels a little weird. Already down two of our heels. So this is a lot going on, a lot of bullet hell. Um, I'm curious if there's going to be a second phase because it doesn't feel like it needs one. <laughs> well, sorry. I could see a multi I could see a second phase. I'm hoping there isn't a second form. I'm hoping this is its only health bar. That almost one-shot me. Okay. Glad I didn't put those points in uh, health. That would have been silly.
Blech. Honestly, this doesn't... This still feels good. Um, I'm starting to feel like I'm getting slightly more down each time. That one right there, I would really like to... There we go. That rock has a splash effect that I wasn't expecting. Those red waves, I don't think I've actually successfully dodged once. I think that's going to be one of the big things I need to focus on. A lot of the props that he uses with his attacks look very similar. So I think that's the other thing, is I need to focus on what the props, what each prop does. Like, the signals are telegraphed. You have to be in the right spot to be able to do some what you want about them. In that case, I was in the air when he was doing the attack that I wanted to parry. And I didn't get to the ground in time. Let's try the needle. How am I still alive? I do not know.
thought I had it that time. Something new. I don't know what to expect right now. Get that health regen, refill my breath. Okay, now I'm just mad because I could have killed it. And I re-lost about two thirds of my health. I realized what was going on a second too late again. I was like, oh, I should be good to heal. And then it was like, there's a rock. There's a rock. There's a rock. Definitely feel like the needle's a better choice, even though the damage output isn't that much higher. It forces me to pace myself a little better. Okay.
eat the rocks. Rocks full, everyone dies. I'm gonna do a little side by side here. I wasn't paying a ton of attention. I feel like the numbers are way higher with the, or at least a bit higher with the needle, but maybe I'm misremembering. Yes. There we go. Okay. Let's get some heels going. I dashed the wrong way. Oh my god. That felt like it was going to be it. That felt like it was going to be it, and I screwed it up. Okay. So, I feel like we're doing well enough now. I'm going to use... This damage boost. I'm 
I'm sure now that we're in this situation, I'm just going to suck at it, but whatever. We'll try it. We are doing worse than we were last time by a pretty large margin. little guy got me. There we go. Okay. Rocks. Ooh, you can get the head while he's in the rock form. That's good to know. Absorb, that'll give me some health back. Come on. That's what I wanted. And now I should be able to finish that off and get full back up to full health. Oh! I didn't notice the first time that he was healing while those little dudes were out. That was really bad. Okay.
this an ending or a phase two? Phase two. Great. Well, no, this could still be an ending. But I think it's a phase two. Oh, no, 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 no. It is a platforming. It's an Ori escape dun er, escape section. Except easier. <laughs> and the phase two. Okay, great. I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, I see. You just have to remove the hands. Was there anything I could have done different? Better? Had I attacked you the moment arri I, you arrived? No. That would have only quickened our demise. My only choice was a gamble. For what it's worth, thank you for the time we were allowed to exist. More so than most. There is some truth to the Coda's ideal, perhaps. This is a uh, this is a super nihilistic game, and we are the bad guys. Um. <laughs> but it is what it is. That's what the game is, right? Okay, prey gauntlet or access the prey gauntlet through any circuit. Glimpse into otherware and face previously fought great prey. Use reality shift to abandon this reality. New game plus. Okay. I assume this is going to take us to credits. It does let you go back and finish exploring afterwards, but I don't think we're going to be doing that because uh, this game is awesome and I'm content with where we're at. Is this actually a thing? Or is this... Hmm. Seriously. What am I 
started bumping my head on right there. <laughs> Stupid stalactites. Oh. I'm assuming this is the end. So I'm going to go ahead and start talking about it like it is. And if I need to cut myself off, that's fine. So for the most part, I really like this game. Uh, I felt like the combat was really solid. Oh, there we go. Let's kill the HUD. Get that nice view for the end. So we resonate with our brethren and destroy the world. Like you do. Okay. Okay, so now that we're actually at the end, um, I really liked this game. Um, the story was probably one of the weaker points for me. There's a lot of these games, that's not the point. Like, it still had the aesthetic and the environment that really still gave you the feeling and you never were questioning like it wasn't like you were going around talking to a bunch of people that you were supposed to care about it felt good despite that um, the other problem I had was the signposting there were several points where I wasn't sure where to go and I kind of got the vibe that part of the problem was the fact that it released several of these areas later. I don't know if all those optional areas are DLC, but if they are, I wish they would have redone the signposting to make it fit better. Um, there were also just some minor oversights throughout it. Um, like the respawning in blocks and a couple times we kind of clipped into the floor a little bit. It's a little broken. Not a huge deal. The good. The gameplay in this game is top notch. This is like, this is another one that I would put in the same tier for gameplay with like Ori and uh, Hollow Knight 
and ender lilies for me. It feels good. The movement feels good. And it's something where I would love to see... You know, I'm looking forward to seeing what else they can do what with this sort of system in a similar way that I was with Ori. Um, most of my complaints are pretty minor. And it it's a nice change. <laughs> Honestly, I really liked... Like, as much as I liked Lone Fungus and a few of the other ones that I've played recently, like uh, Haiku, there's something about the movement in this one that I liked better. Um, not that the other ones were bad, but like, I wanted to do the movement in this. And I think it's the way that they did the controller layout and what the powers were. Um, Lone Fungus, I was really getting frustrated with how many buttons I had to push to do all of the different dash combos, and if you push the wrong one in the wrong order, you had a problem. This one, it's dash, jump, and the two joysticks, and that's it. Four buttons for the platforming sections. And it felt good. The platforming sections felt good, the combat felt good. The parry system didn't feel unfair. Um, genuinely, it was like... Actually, I don't like the Hollow Knight comparison I made. I feel like this is like Blasphemous meets Ori. It's Blasphemous combat with Ori's movement. And that... That is a high... That is a, a high praise. Um... However, the story is more on the blasphemous end, which is not great. Lots of esoteric BS, not as much in the, you know, realm of uh, emotional storytelling like Ori. That's a lot of comparisons with very good games, though. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what else you know, what else comes from this, uh, from this studio. So, hopefully you're enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.